the fate of a man who claims to have been wrongly convicted and imprisoned is back in the hands of a local judge. Yeah, following up now on our exclusive report from yesterday, a hearing was held in Seminole County today. And the case of Anthony Walker Jr., West 2 News investigative reporter Greg Fox explains, despite new evidence in this case that may actually exonerate Walker, his family is now faced with even more waiting. Yes, it's uh, very depressing. Anthony Walker Sr. and his family wanted much more from this hearing. And so the case needed a full investigation. They watched as their son's attorney, Kyle Fletcher, explained a newly filed motion to try and win release of Anthony Walker Jr. He's serving 30 years for armed robbery. Fletcher cites a new investigative report that raises questions about the evidence and testimony gathered by Sanford police and used by prosecutors to convict Walker in 2008 of a 2004 home invasion at this apartment complex. What the affidavit would have any merit to it to suggest that there's new evidence in the case. The report suggests that there is. But the prosecutor cited five prior motions alleging new evidence, all rejected. Several of them have had hearings, and at the hearings, the various judges have found the, either the witnesses, the evidence, or both to not be credible. Fletcher says the new report makes this a whole new ball game. Just because you uh, go 0 for 4 doesn't mean you're not going to hit, hit one out of the park on your fifth at bat. Key to this case is a new statement by Walker's co-defendant, Lloyd Scott, who got just three years behind bars. He now says the robbery was a setup by one of his fellow store clerks at this former 7-Eleven who acted like a victim. Scott said she was the mastermind. She planned this robbery of her boyfriend. Scott also said a police investigator pressured him into identifying Walker from a photo lineup. Scott said, I was told by an investigator if I did not testify against Anthony, I would be looking at 60 years in prison. The prosecutor pushed back. It doesn't say that he didn't testify truthfully. It doesn't say that the defendant wasn't there. It just said While the judge did not grant Walker's release, she agreed to a new hearing after the state reviews the new report. In a remarkable coincidence, the attorney who years ago represented co-defendant Lloyd Scott was in court during this hearing. A.A. A. McClanahan told me he couldn't comment. There's nothing that I can say about it, uh, and I can't divulge anything about anything my client said to me. Walker, who claims he was in Quincy, Florida the night of the apartment robbery, expressed his frustration by phone from prison. As it stands, all that is true that has been presented to the court, it makes you question that, that term just. His family remains hopeful. You know, maybe Anthony can be exonerated and set free without a trial. Without his faith, he wouldn't be able to endure this. And without our faith, we wouldn't be able to endure this. A status hearing is expected in two months. In Seminole County, Greg Fox, West 2 News.